Hey guys, I'm, uh, <laughs> this is going to be a little unorthodox, but I had a change of plans for the evening, and so I figured, since it's not the usual, uh, let me do a what's in my bag, and I haven't done one in a long time. I think since, uh, maybe March, or was it February? It might have been March where I did a what's in my bag. So um, the bag I was going to use for the evening is the Louis Vuitton Speedy, the chain limited edition. Um, I actually haven't used this bag in a couple of months and I was really excited to use it tonight, but that's okay. Um, let's get into what I had with me tonight for the evening. So in the side zip pocket here, what I carried with me inside, I have, um, um, because my allergies were really bothering me, I have a pill case for them and it's, uh, it looks like this. So I have Claritin in here and I also have Benadryl. Uh, for some reason, I'm carrying the keys with me to the lock, even though I don't use the lock. But I guess I just have them with me just in case I decide to use it. And I also still have the care booklet with the textile card for the bag. Okay, that's not really necessary. Um, I have a few feminine products and then I have with me a Swiss Army knife. I love this thing. It comes in so handy. It has a bottle opener and it also has a corkscrew um, for if you like to drink wine. I love drinking wine. Red wine is my favorite. So yeah. Oh, and look, this is so cute. It's even got like a little toothpick. How adorable is that? So I really kind of find this thing handy and I recommend everyone should get one. You never know when you're going to be in a situation where you're going to need one. The sun is going down pretty quick. Okay, so the next thing I have in my bag um, are the shoes that I was planning to wear with my outfit. I was going to switch out the flip-flops that I have on. I have on my Valentino Rock Stud flip-flops. And that's just because I was planning to go to Manhattan and in case I didn't find parking close enough to the first venue and I needed to walk maybe one or two blocks, it would be more convenient and I still would be fashion sensed, fashion oriented. I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to say. Uh, I would still look cute. Okay, and then I have in here these sunglasses that have kind of, um, and I don't know how to describe this, this color. It's not exactly like a green, well maybe it is. It's like a blue green. Um, and I think it goes well with the, the jewelry that I'm wearing, my bracelet. And um, I think I left the ring somewhere inside here. But yeah, so I just thought that it would accent it more. And these glasses were actually, I bought these last summer Old Navy. They were marked down from $16.99 to $10. And I loved them because I had purchased a pair of Ray-Bans that were too small for my face. I hadn't realized that they came in different, like I think three different sizes. So like 55 millimeters is the largest or 50 milliliters, millimeters I mean, sorry. And coincidentally, I walked in, randomly tried these on, and I was like, wow, this is the exact size that I wanted for the Ray-Bans that I had sold on eBay. So I picked them up because I think they're cute. Unfortunately, they got really scratched up. I didn't take the best care of them, and I wish I had because, I mean, maybe I'll pass by and see if they have any more, but yeah, I really like those. Um, I also have in here a uh, clay pochette because it's got my identification, um, some cash, and then also my driver's license. Is my driver's license in here? I keep switching it between my six key holder and this. But uh, next thing I have in here is 
my checkbook because I have larger cash bills that I didn't want to fold so I put it in here kind of like a wallet kind of thing and every now and again I need my checking information so I just always have that with me uh, next inside here is my six key holder I have only one six key holder and it's with the fuchsia button and I love this thing I highly recommend that everyone get one and then the last item in my bag is it the last or no these are okay so I had to drive my boyfriend's parents to the airport today they're gonna be in Sicily for a month so I have their keys in my bag and then the last item in here is my uh, mini pochette and inside here I just brought a few items of makeup so that I could touch up during the evening um, this is my Lancome juicy shaker this is my Revlon uh, color stay for you know um, oil uh, this is my I finally learned how to pronounce this. This is pronounced L'Occitane hand cream. Uh, this is either a sample size or it came in a gift box. But I have that and because I have the chain on my bag, I wasn't so concerned about the bachetta. I have uh, my beauty blender so that I could do some touch-ups. Oh, this stuff is amazing. Okay, I just discovered this. I used the sample and surprisingly those blister packets, one of those blister packets actually covered my entire face. Uh, and I was really impressed by the staying power and by the SPF. Also by uh, the fact that my skin didn't so like I've had this on for a while and usually I tend to look really really greasy especially by this time and I don't I have to touch up less often but I always carry makeup with me because you know you just never know um, this is a 12 hour primer but it can be worn um, without it can be worn under foundation or alone because it's buildable it is a healthy treatment um, that's what it says on the back of the package um, it's a buildable coverage I mentioned that it's oil free moisturizer it's a pore minimizer and it's a skin brightener and I've actually gotten a, 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 a really good amount of compliments from this this also has SPF 30 and I happen to wear this in the color medium tan but see the thing is even if foundations start off to be a little too light for me or a shade a smidge too dark for me I always know how to tweak it so that um, I, I can make it work for me so um, this being a little too light for me what I do is so I can have the bronzer on my face and then after I've done my contouring I'll just take what's ever residual on the brush and just kind of like work it all over and that just kind of helps out with um, if it being too light but it actually matches I always try to match my foundation to my neck uh, just because my face is always lighter than the rest of my body and um, yeah so that's why I do that um, what else do I have in here oh the last thing I have <laughs> if any of you follow me on snapchat my co-workers were making so much fun of me I bought this um, it's by soap and glory it's called pillow plump and this color is called nude in town actually I don't have any lipstick on my face so let me see if I put some on my co-workers were making fun of me because I was posting to snapchat to see before and after okay let me show you before I'm gonna put some on and then you tell me what you think after now the reason I came across this and and purchased it was because I was watching um, some beauty guru and she was mentioning this line and doing some swatches and over the lip color that she was already wearing she uh, because I bought this in clear also she put on the clear one and right before my eyes I watched her bottom lip swell up <laughs> I was really really impressed because 
I've never watched anything happen like that before on uh, on a, on a video for a demonstration with makeup. So, and this stuff really tingles. So, I have a high threshold for pain. So, I think that's why I can tolerate the tingle, but a lot of people might not be able to handle this. And if you've experienced other lip plumpers that had uh, tingling sensations in the past, I'm really going to say that this might be a step or two up from those because this really tingles, like no joke tingles. Okay, so let me come closer to you. I ha I'm in a parking lot right now, so there are a bunch of cars like kind of circling around me. If it gets a little sketchy, this was the best lighting before I could uh, drive to my house because it's, there are no trees and even though the sunlight's practically gone, but. So yeah, so that's what I have inside my bag. Um, I will put everything away and <laughs> You know, the funny thing is, is I actually think, and this isn't my own personal opinion, that the Lancome Juicy Shaker, which I seem to have lost, the Juicy Shaker Lip lip Conditioner Color, I feel like that makes my lips look more plump than this does. So let me just keep this out because... I mean, can you see a difference at all? Maybe I should have brought you closer when I tried this on, but I didn't think of it until just now. Yeah, the sunlight is really escaping me. Just dump everything back in. I'm thinking about getting a bag shaper for this uh, just because I don't want the print on here to crack from you know being creased by not being because it's not full enough so I'm probably gonna go on eBay and see if I can find anything okay so let's see if I bring this here. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference or not. I'm trying to keep shadow away from my face. Oh, is it the camera causing shadow? I want to keep it on the same angle though. You know when you see those before and after pictures, but there's always a different lighting or a different angle, so okay, I'll just keep it on the same angle and just zoom in all right well that's it for today's what's in my bag video uh, l give this video a thumbs up if you hmm I don't want to say that because if you didn't see it <laughs> just give this video a thumbs up please <laughs> Yeah, so thank you for watching. Sip, uh, click subscribe and leave your comments below. Let me know if you noticed a difference in my lip gloss. I really feel it tingling. It's like serious. Look at like, you see this car trolling behind me? It's really super creepy. So I think I'm going to get the hell out of here. Yeah, weirdo. Ugh, gross. So I wanted to put this on over it though so that you could see if my lips look fuller with that color. You know, it could just be the color also because this is a fleshy tone. And this, even though it's a pinky fleshy tone, it gives more color than this. Hmm. All right, well, anyway, I'm just about reaching 15 minutes, so maybe I'll do that for another video. Give a thumbs up if you want to see me do a comparison with Pillow Plump versus Juicy Shaker. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.